Welcome back to Just Blazer Programming. Today, this is a very special episode. Not only do I have an announcement to make, I will also show you a repo that will make my channel completely obsolete. You can leave this channel and just use this repo all the time, and you'll never have to deal with me ever again. Hopefully, you stay after this. But I'm very serious. This is a very good repo and has a lot of resources in there, and I don't see people talking too much about it. And, you know, since this is going to be a much more simpler video, not very technical heavy, we are also going to discuss my new Discord channel, but I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. So, here I go. And here is the repo. This repo is called Awesome Blazer Repo. It is on GitHub, and if you just search for it on Google, you will find it. It's probably the first thing. Make sure it's from Adrian Torres. I saw a few of them in there from other people, but this seems to be the one that is very SEO heavy. And it has a bunch of stuff here. In fact, I'm going to make a bunch of videos going through this very thing. This is a very good trough of ideas. But now that I'm showing you the secret sauce of my uh, web of my channel, maybe you will need to go and just do this yourself. Maybe. But here, basically, um, there's a lot of stuff in here. And we begin with um, information on Blazor, essentially. And then there's a lot of repositories, authentication, clouds, CMS, games. Oh, I'm very interested in this now. I want to do some games in Blazor. This is what I really want to do. But I first have to start with something simple before I get into any of this. Plus, they're already done. So if you want to get into it already before I do, you are more than free to do so. Hybrid. Oh, they finally got this here. Let me check something out real quick because I haven't actually looked at this at its entirety. I know it has cloud stuff. It has like a, just a F ton of information. Maui. Oh, it does have Maui right there. Perfect. Oh, no, these are just videos. Maybe I should add some of my stuff on there, huh? You think people will get helped by that? <laughs> oh, and a lot of stuff. Anyways, I picked out a few things uh, that I thought were really, really good to know, at least, uh, so you don't get too overwhelmed with what's here. But if you are curious about it, just know this is Awesome Blazer. Adrian Torres is the person who has set up the, uh, the GitHub repo. And this is basically just a bunch of stuff all culminated into one very simple place. And if there's anything that you find interesting and you want me to maybe put a video out on so you can understand how to do them or an explanation on something, some concepts here, let me know in the comments. And I'll just get to probably the one that I'm going to look forward, uh, look towards first, which is Mudblazer. Mudblazer being the material UI version, uh, material UI design for Blazor created with Blazor components. So if you don't know what material UI is, basically this kind of art style when it comes to uh, CSS stuff. So you've probably seen Google have it. I think uh, if you were using Bootstrap, uh, no, Bootstrap is actually not it, never mind. Uh, if you saw anything with Angular, sometimes React will use it as well. They have their own versions of these material UI, but that's the name of the, of the art, which is very like solid, flat, art that's usually really nice to look at when it comes to it. So I can't wait to try these. Actually, I want to do a mud blazer project and that's what I'm going to work on next. And there's also other resources. So you have something called blazer university in case there are questions here or things you want to know. I did not make any of this, by the way, this is all in the repo. And so you're going to go there anyway, might as well promote some other people. I don't know who these are. I don't know this book, but I know that this website exists and I've used it before to answer a few questions because they actually do have very good explanations for some stuff. So in case you are interested in going here, I will never hide where I got my information from or if I use uh, some resource or whatever. That's, 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 you know, there's no real point in doing that. It's kind of, um, kind of silly if you really think about it. Oh, Azure samples. Ooh, I have not tried cloud yet with Blazor. Um, I have used Azure before though. I'm more of an AWS man though. Uh, AWS has 70% of the cloud infrastructure market share. Just letting you know, that's why in case you're interested, why I, I did a AWS instead of Azure, but this is interesting I'm using signal R. Okay. No, that's on this side. So yeah, I'm just going to go through just the stuff. Ah, Blazor games, obviously, uh, in case you don't know about me, I used to do games long time ago games. Uh, I used to work for a game studio. Um, and that was actually how I got my first, uh, programming job. I was a games tester, became a QA, and then I became a, uh, a software developer after that for very low pay, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes I crack a few eggs, although I don't recommend that. No, maybe I'll get into that in a different video, but 
Let me see. We got Blackjack, Yahtzee, Minesweeper. Eh. I do like Tetris. Let me see. Do they actually have a sample here? What the hell? Is it embedded somewhere? Does this work? Or how does this work? Huh. I'll have to check this out because uh, there's no sound. It's all, all pictures. Anyways, what's next? Asteroids. Another game. At least I have a GIF here. Anyways, uh, there's way too many things to go through in this one little video. And I just wanted to just show you the, the one repo. If you're going to... If you are something, anything on Blazor and you have not checked this repo out, you really should check it out. It will give you so many resources all culminated into one little place. And they might start updating the mobile stuff when it comes to Maui because Maui is coming out in Q2 sometime in uh, June-ish, I guess. But there is a Maui pre-release in case you're interested in that kind of hybrid app. Well, let me know. That is for mobile. That is basically the... Uh, Blazor equivalent of, or the Microsoft equivalent, should I say, of React Native. So if you want to do some of that, these are some of the, uh, the bundles here. Mostly for UI stuff, but let's see what else we got. APIs, mm -hmm, charts, data grids. Here we go. I'm about to have a conniption not having a data grid. You know, data grids are far more annoying to work with and build than once thought. So... Don't ever, if you ever have to work with the data grid, don't ever, um, what do you call it? Uh, underestimate that task. It is kind of annoying. But yeah, I'll go through this, make a, maybe a product out of some of these all combined in there. Now that we don't have to rely too much on JS, although I suspect that some of the JS libraries that do exist that do the same things they do are probably a little bit more polished, but that is just, you know, just uh, what I think. However, we are in Blazor, we are .NET, we are using C Sharp, so might as well have libraries that also support the same language. You know what I mean? I get that's the whole appeal of Blazor after all. Anyways, I could keep going through this, but you can do it yourself. But this is supposed to be a, an announcement video as well, so I'm going to flip back to me being a big boy again. And just to let you know, in the, in the description, I'm going to add a link that is basically an invitation to my new Discord, Just Blazor Discord. And in case you want to join there so we could all have a nice chat so you don't have to wait for me until I get the community tab out there. The community tab being um, something that I'm supposed to get because I reached the 500 sub mark. Thank you guys once again. And in case that doesn't pan out or, you know, so we have just a little space somewhere outside of YouTube to talk about stuff. I'm creating a Discord out there if you're interested. The first link is only going to have up to uh, 50 people. So that link will expire once 50 people or... In seven days, 50 people will join, whatever comes first. That's how I'm planning on doing this so I could see, you know, I haven't really done something like this before. So hopefully, if you are interested, let me know. And there we could have discussions about Blazor and whatever else, I guess. You know, civil please, civility. And uh, and yeah, this video isn't, you know, the most craziest video. We just go over something real quickly. And it's mostly it's just an announcement with a bit of a of a thing here for the awesome Blazor repo that I thought you could know because if I just went over all of it in this one video, it's gonna take a hundred years. So instead, you know, I'll do something else with it. And I just didn't want to keep you as well waiting for my next video. It's gonna take some time. I've been a bit busy this week. So consider this announcement video with a little bit of a technical sprinkle and hopefully you join my Discord. So other than that, I'll see you.